Nesse mundo em que a tecnologia anda tão depressa, como é que fica o papel do artista? Tem um novo contingente de artistas, especialmente aqueles que nasceram depois de 1986, que já usam a tecnologia de uma forma muito mais integrada com as suas próprias vidas. Dá até para perguntar como é que é possível fazer arte sobre tecnologia. Será que isso é possível? Quando a gente pensa em arte tecnológica, a gente pensa em software, computador, mas a gente nunca pensa, por exemplo, nas ruas da cidade. E hoje a tecnologia está em toda parte. Então você tem artistas como Aaron Bartol, que usa a rua da cidade como um lugar onde você pode trocar informações. O legal do trabalho do Aaron é justamente fazer essa conexão entre a força da arte de rua, que já é uma arte democrática em si, com a força da arte tecnológica, que também é democrática. Dead Drop is an anonymous offline peer-to-peer -peer file sharing network. It's just a little USB flash drive. I cement it into a wall and the idea is that I take my laptop and I can plug it into the wall to the USB drive and find files or drop some files. People drop personal pictures or items. I had job application on there. On this website, deaddrops.com, you can submit your dead drop you've done and then it'll be on the map and it'll be in the database and people can look it up and go to that place and see what's on there. A lot of layers in this project you can talk about and discuss. Today we are connected with our phones and whatever, Facebook everywhere, but the moment you take some files and you cement it into a building, somehow the whole building becomes a flash drive. And at the same time it's this play, you go out in the city and try to find this uh, USB drive. Um dos artistas que são mais interessantes e intrigantes é o Ryan Tricartin, que é um americano nascido no Texas e que usa a tecnologia de uma forma muito interessante dentro do seu trabalho. Ele usa muito maquiagens e personalidades que não são dele própria. Então ele incorpora personagens um pouco para mostrar como todo mundo acaba fazendo isso online. Mas a grande questão sobre a obra do Ryan é que ele nos faz pensar sobre como a tecnologia está mudando a nós mesmos. How do you see the internet as an artist and how does it impact your your work? I don't see it as an other. It's like inherently a part of who we are and it's a part of our being and it's an extension of our bodies. The internet is providing so many sort of new mediums and new opportunities and platforms to expand and um, create. And I think it's making people much more collaborative in spirit. And I feel like that's really exciting. Never in the past, we show you your life better with edit. With edit. How do you think like uh, this multiple layers of identity actually translate into your work and what is, how does it relate to the online life? As we start to exist in multiple spaces and um, interact within different realities. The thing that starts to define you is like your accumulated personality or your accumulated structures. We're kind of moving more towards defining ourselves by like a larger vibe of who we are rather than like an understanding of the body or something. Because the body's been expanded and so has like the location of it. Always in the moment, always. Always, always. How do you find all those people? Like, uh, there is children, there is like uh, people for, of all sorts. Some people are like actors that we hire. Um, and some people are family members or friends of friends. A lot of them I did meet on the internet. You actually made your videos available online. Do you think that was important for your career? It would make sense to, you know, share with the communities that are, that inspire the work. And the best way, obviously, to do that is to just post it online. And, and obviously, the Internet's a huge inspiration to the work. In a career sense, it like would be outrageous to not put it online. Os artistas hoje estão mais preocupados em desenvolver questões a partir do uso das novas tecnologias que se reflitam na política, na economia, na sociedade e na estética, na própria arte. 
Então, fazer a arte só pela ferramenta, sem pensar nesse outro lado, de como ela se relaciona com as nossas vidas, também está ficando um pouco sem graça. Já dá para dizer até que está ficando um pouco obsoleto. A lot of the artists who we work with, they're often creating platforms rather than actual an art object to put in a gallery as a commodity item. They're often using technology as a platform so that other people contribute their ideas and their content. And I think that's kind of new. The digital artworks are getting stronger and stronger in that in that field, and I think it's important to to look at this. Of course, it's it's a question of curators and collectors, what's their relation to the digital sphere, like if they grew up with it or not. It's still a big difference in, in how people are used to art in the art market. Galleries and museums, are they ready to show people who are working with new media? I just feel like naturally the segregation is going to go away because that would be a false dialogue to have a whole art, historical art, from like here to 20 years in the future and not have the internet be a part of that would just make no sense. I mean, when you're contextualizing some sort of idea, you can't avoid the way the internet has changed that idea.